Hello everyone, thank you very much for clicking and for watching the video. If you're new here, welcome, we're on the free game collection. If you're a return subscriber, welcome back. You probably noticed there's a slight change in, in scenery and in setup, so really quickly. Um, this this is the first time I've, act, I've actually done this once already. I'm actually having to refilm it because I bought a nice new camera, uh, which I thought was going to be an improvement, but it wasn't. It was one of those ones off Amazon. Um, not worth it. So we've gone back to the back to the mobile phone, but it's on a nice tripod now, so it looks very pretty. But uh, yeah, that those ones that they sell on Amazon, if you're curious, don't waste your time, don't buy them. Um, but the, the roulette, um, which I'll make a note to in the thumbnail, I'm sure I will, that was filmed on the old camera. So I can't refilm that, so we'll have to transition to that. But yeah, have a look, have a look at the, notice the difference in quality, see if you agree, I don't think it was worth it. But I've also gone and got myself a, a nice little microphone as well. Um, so hopefully that may make uh, the sound a little bit better. But the biggest change is, I've changed, I've changed where I'm sitting, I've changed it ever so gently. Um, I usually sit right there. Um, I'm 35. Um, my, I, I, my ACL just disappeared. It, it broke on me when I was about 30. Um, so I've got a nice little bit of plastic in my right knee. Um, sitting down there and getting up every time is really starting to hurt my legs. So as much as I enjoy doing this and collecting games, it, it can't cost me my right leg. Um, so I've, I've changed it up. I've got a seat now. I'm old, so I need a seat. Um, and then when I got the seat, I thought I need a table in for me. Why? not so I've got a nice little table now and I've tried to make this background a little bit a little bit more interesting for you to look at so I uh, hope, hope hope you like the new setup and um, before we get going really quick good news let's put 15 pound up on the uh, up on the old cash tally that we that we had a couple of weeks ago sold it. it took me a little while to sell it I had it off for 20 quid forgot I had it on to be honest with you and um, couldn't get rid of it couldn't sell it for 20 so I dropped it down to 15 and sold it and um, so yeah we got that got 15 quid to start us off so that's that's a good start and talk about start, let, let's let's crack on, shall we? So, really quickly, got loads of hardware this week, not many games, and got quite some some handhelds, which I'm sure I'm gonna make note to in the thumbnail as well. So it's been good for hardware. Really quick, um, I bought this box. This was three pounds. I got, I don't know what this is. It looks like an Xbox One, but it doesn't seem to work when I plug it in. Uh, I got a PS2 controller that's missing a button. And I believe there's, yes, there's five PS3 controllers. Um, I bought these. This whole box was £3, spares and repairs. Uh, the lady said that her son used to do them up and sell them online, uh, which would make sense. I've had a look. There's no way I can make a working PS3 controller out of this. Um, however, it's really good for spares and repairs. Loads of cases. Some of the cases have barcodes on at the back as well, which will help us down the line. But, yeah, really important to pick these sort of things up. And for £3, um, it, it, this is how we top up the spares and repairs bag. Um, so, yeah, just a box of broken controllers. Not the most interesting but for three pounds we'll get something for them later down the line and it moves us on quite nicely i picked up this this was three pound this is a ps3 controller doesn't have uh, the sticker on the back but it works perfectly but that doesn't matter because remember the ps3 that we picked up a couple weeks ago for it was eight pound i believe it was we were looking for a spare controller before we could do anything with it i've got it now so this will go with that not only that i remembered while i was going around the car boot and I also picked up a HDMI cable, it's a Sky one so we've got a pink end, and a pad charger. So we're up and going now for that PS3, so I'll stick that up on Facebook for sale. I'll probably ask for 30, 40, something like that for it. Um, so yeah, we've managed to piece together a PS3. So I was really happy with that, really, really happy. Um, so that should get us some money before we go. I tell you what, let's, the, these games, let's do these because they're not, oh, I've got a table, just stick them there. Um, so these were from the charity shop, three for a pound. Uh, first one, NBA 2K18, uh, sports title. I do like my basketball. I'm really into it. I'm a, I'm a Celtics fan. Uh, good thing about being a basketball fan in England is not many people follow it really. So you not you get to wear all the nice hats and all the clothing. Nobody really cares. Uh, but I am a Celtics fan. But I do I do like my uh, my basketball gear. But yeah, um, I'm going to keep that because I don't actually have a basketball game. They're all on the pass. Um, but I'm going to keep that just in case anything happens to me pass. I've got that to play. So got that. Transformers on the PS2. Um, this is this doesn't seem to be related to the Michael Bay films. I think it's a little bit before. I can't seem to find this on CEX app. It seems to take you to uh, one of the other games, um, one of the Michael Bay based ones. Um, so I'll be looking to keep that anyway because I don't have it. So Transformers games are usually pretty pretty good. Worth a go. I'll have a go on that. And lastly, so these were three for a pound. This one's going to get us back. Guitar Hero Five. Um, you get a good couple of quid for this. I've already got it. Lovely condition with the booklet. Um, so yeah, that should get us our money back for those. So yeah, pretty much they were the only separate games I was able to buy. Three for a pound, but uh, we'll get our money back from those. So not too bad, not bad. Right, saying that about the games, let's move on 
to this. So, oh, our table's coming in handy already. Right, it's a Wii. We're going to move on quickly from that. Uh, it's got all the flaps. We'll put this up on Facebook Marketplace. Nothing too impressive. Um, it, there's a Wii board down there. I'm not going to pick it up, but there's a Wii board down there. 15 quid for this whole box. I do have some footage of it, but I'm not going to show it because I've already looked at that footage and there's a small... There's an infant, a small child in pretty much all the footage, and I don't want to be, don't want to be putting that up, uh, up on the channel for obvious reasons. So just you see me pick a one, see me pick them all, but it's what came with this, which is interesting. So it came with this game, We Sing, with two of the microphones. Um, so I think you get about three quid. That's like a penny, but three quid uh, at CX if you've got the microphones. Got no interest in these, so that'll get us some money back. Also, we've got one controller, which will go with the Wii when we put it on Facebook. Got another controller, which is a Wii Motion. So I might keep this um, in my my own personal stash of Wii controllers and trade in a, a non Wii Motion one. But also I had a blue one in there as well. So we got two blue ones to go with our blue control, uh, blue console that we picked up earlier on in the year. So really happy with that. Not only that, I've got two of these Wii Motions in here. So these are what you need to play uh, Wii Sports Resort. Uh, there's two of those. I don't know if I'll keep these or not. I'll decide. I think you get about a pound for them. The Wii's got all the cables you need. Um, so yeah, and then there's a nice, nice little selection of games in here. So let's just pull these out and go. Some are more impressive than the others. Uh, let's just get them all on the table quickly. Right, let's crack on. So a sealed... Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games sealed copy so I'll be keeping this one I'll trade in my existing version so that was good to find we sports resort so I'll get fiver for that so we're getting a fiver back straight away so that's pretty good just dance 2 CSI crime scene hard evidence don't watch that anymore I ain't seen that for a few years we fit to go with the board need for speed nitro um, I was thinking about keeping that but I've had a little look already I probably won't play it. it's not that good so that'll probably be uh, leaving us uh, Ferrari challenge just dance 2014 so get a couple quid for that and um, the rest aren't too fantastic to be honest uh, Yamaha supercross oh well Sonic Colours, a little bit of that, I've already got that. Uh, Monopoly on the way, that's actually quite good actually. Well, it's Monopoly, but it's a, it's a decent way of playing it, it's quite fun. Uh, Sean White Snowboarding, uh, WSC Real 08, so it's a snooky game. Tiger Woods, uh, Black Eyed Peas Experience, I mean, who's playing that? Uh, Boogie, Titanic, which a couple of weeks ago was all over all over the news, unfortunately. Um, I, I did have a look at it. I probably won't keep it. It's not reviewed very well. It's a click, and, click adventure game, so I won't be playing it, so I won't keep it. Uh, FIFA 12, <laughs> Donking Boxing. I've actually already got that. Don't see Donking anymore either, do you? I don't know what ever happened to him. He, uh, he was uh, a strange fellow, wasn't he? Um, so yeah, 15 quid for all that. We'll get our money back from that. Definitely easily get 15 quid, get a bit of profit back from that as well. And we'll be keeping some of those Wii remotes, especially the blue one. Uh, so yeah, not bad, not bad at all. So then this week, I just kept coming across handhelds. Loads of handhelds, well not loads, three handhelds. So let's, let's get started with them. So the first one is a Game Boy Advance. This is the first Game Boy Advance I have ever, ever picked up at a car boot. It works perfectly. Um, da -da. Um, it came with this little bag, which he said had games in, but it doesn't. It's oddly, turn that off, get the volume on. Um, it's got one, two, three, it's got four memory cards for a PS1. It's got um, the Lord of the Rings Tactics on PSP, and there's a copy of Dracula Crazy Vampire Game Boy Color. Uh, so I might be keeping that. And I'll be keeping memory cards because they come in handy when you try and sell them on Facebook. And um, it also came with, in the console, Shrek 2, Beg for Mercy. So we got those with it. Um, pay, he wanted 20 for this, got him down to 12. Um, it's in lovely condition. There's no um, no corrosion from the batteries. It's a bit sticky. I, I took this off before I started filming. I had like, some sticker on it where someone's tried to keep the back on. I don't know why because the back fits fine. Um, but yeah, a silver Game Boy Advance. I don't I don't own a Game Boy Advance. Um, so I'll be definitely looking to keep hold of this. Um, I was really happy to find it. I, don't, have, I don't, don't know if I have any Game Boy Advance games, but I believe you can play the uh, old school Game Boy on here. Um, so yeah, a Game Boy Advance for £12. Not bad. There's no charger with it, but it takes batteries. Um, I'm not sure what cable you take. I need to take a look at it, or even if it has a charger, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Game Boy Advance for £12. Really, really chuffed when I got my hands on that. The next one, um, the, the guy was, uh, lady, sorry, was taking all the stuff out. 
all the usual resellers were there and um, i think they just overlooked this i'm not sure what they they knew what it was it was just sitting on top in this case um it is a one of the first uh, nintendo ds's i don't have this model either and um, so i'm also going to be looking to keep this um yeah i've got a few dsi and a couple of ds lights um it, it's pink and um, i was a bit bit unsure about the colour, I didn't know if it had been faded. It works absolutely fine, as you can hear there. Um, yeah, like I say, I don't have one of these original DSs. I've never picked one up either. So I wanted to keep this one as well. Um, it did come with a charger, um, which I didn't know. It's a very different end to a DS Lite, uh, DSi than all DSs that you find. Um, so if you do find one of these, make sure make sure they've got that charge, otherwise you probably are going to have to go onto eBay to find one of those. Um, but yeah, works works lovely really happy another handheld i mean come across that and then come across a second i was like wow that's that's don't, you get on quite often but not really two in the same week and it also came with nintendogs uh, the dash hound edition and um, this with the game and the charger five pound Oliver I was really, really chuffed for that. Really, really chuffed. So five pounds for that. I looked to get rid of the game because I actually already have that one. Um, but yeah, five pounds for that. Hopefully the game will get us a couple of quid back for it. Um, and we'll be looking to looking to keep hold of this. So there's two handhelds I'm looking to keep hold of. And then there was a third. Oh, I've saved the better one till last. So come across this. It was ten pounds this one the box was just sitting there the guy was getting all his stuff out there's a couple of people looking through his bags but this had just been left it was open as well if i remember correctly so you could see what was in it um yeah it, it's a white dsi uh, box open it up it's got a charger but there's not just a white ds in there there was two DSIs in there so this one neither of them have a stylus which is fine because I've got some spares but they both work absolutely fine I'm not sure if I've got oh I do got some charge in that one and um, yeah they work absolutely fine I was so happy when I saw the two of them in there I don't have the white uh, DSI I've got a couple of them but I don't have the white one it's a bit grubby it needs some uh, needs some TLC to, to tidy it up so I'll give it a clean and um, but yeah so the I've got I've got one white stylus and I think I've got a black one uh, to go with that one um, but i'll be looking to keep hold of that however this one when i saw i didn't really know what i was looking at it does have a game one of them does what is it co co Kokotoa Racer? Kokotoa Racer? Not quite sure. Some game in there anyway. Um, I looked at this, didn't quite know what I was looking at. I was thinking, what on earth is this? It's got a, is it Hello Kitty on the inside? Uh, again, it works. Then if, oh, this one has got charged. Oh, they're all charged. This one works as well. So really happy that they were both working. Um, I just need to take the case off it. It's got like some plastic case all over it. Um, I should just be able to pop it off without damaging it. And I believe the Hello Kitty is a sticker underneath. So it's going to take a little bit of cleaning. Um, so I'm going to be looking to keep this with the box and hopefully trade this one in with the charger. So I'm going to have to, this one won't have a charger. I need to keep an eye out for a charger. Um, but yeah, hopefully this We'll get some money back. In fact, once I've took it apart, I'll see which one's the better condition. I'll keep hold of that one. Uh, but they both work fine. So yeah, two DSs with a box for £10. So I've got three handhelds this week. £10, £5 and £12. Don't don't get three handhelds. So there weren't many games this week. There was the Wii, Wii bundle and, and just, a load of, just a load of handhelds. So yeah, so I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to do just yet. I'm going to disappear to CX. I'll be back in a minute and you'll see what we did. Right, so I've been to CEX, it went really, really well. Let's start by taking off what it is we spent. So everything you just saw costs exactly £50. So let's take £50 away before we get going. And before we go on to CEX and, and the old receipt, we have to add on £25, because I've already sold the Wii. It, it's the next day from when I just filmed a moment ago, and we sold it in the same day, sold it this morning. We sold it with the Wii Fit, a uh, couple of the games that are a bit cheaper. I'll put an image around me of what I put it up for, but £25 we got for it this time. So let's stick £25 back up there before we start on the receipt really happy with that really happy. it was it was probably the best condition we have sold in a while it was it was really really good so i'm, I'm glad that uh, glad that sold so quickly so to the receipt we got 
£21 for the DSi. I sold the one that didn't have the case on it because by the time I took the case off it and cleaned it all up and took that uh, Hello Kitty sticker off it, it basically protected the Wii. It was in lovely condition. So we, we've we've kept that one. And we traded in the other one. So fantastic. 21 quid. Um, Wii Sing, so that came with the two mics, was £3. Uh, the Wii controller was a fiver. Monopoly was a pound. Wii Sports was five pound. Mario and Sonic Olympic Games two pound. FIFA twelve fifty p. Hidden Mysteries of the Titanic was a pound. Ferrari Challenge was fifty pence. Just Dance twenty fourteen was two pounds. Uh, Yamaha Supercross was fifty p. Sonic Colors was two pound. And Nintendo was three pound. Not only that, the games from last week that they didn't take because they said they were slightly scratched. They weren't. They were fine. They took them up as Larry this time. Sonic Mega Collection plus one pound fifty. And Simpsons Skateboarding was eighty p. So CX gave us. £48 and 80p. So let's stick that up there. So we've made some money. We've actually made some money, which I'm surprised we did this week, but I'm really happy that we have. So it's all free. Fantastic. Not only that, I've got a little bit back on voucher. Um, so my horse and me, remember that? A good couple of weeks ago. I forgot about that. I took that in. 40 pence voucher I got for that this time. Uh, Guitar Hero 5 £3 voucher. CSI 40p. Need for Speed Nitro 40p. Donkey Kong, uh, not Donkey Kong, uh, Donking Boxing 40 pence. And Just Dance 2, £1.20 on a voucher. So that came to £5.80. So £5.80 up there on voucher as well. So we've made some money and we've got some voucher. Not only that, we've got, we got quite a bit here to keep. I'm really happy with this. So we've got the big bag of spares, uh, big, well, big box of spares and repairs. That will come in handy later down the line. Um, I managed to keep hold of the blue Wii. I should probably mention as well, I kept the Wii with motion built in and I traded in one of my own um, non-Wii built in versions. So well, I've managed to upgrade my own controller, but I won't add that to, to this year because it was just a swap. So that, that that's, that's what I did with that. But yeah, the blue one, kept hold of that and I kept hold of a numb truck as well because um, I'm a bit short on them I've been dishing them out to get rid of the Wii's so um, also games not too many games but I've got NBA 2K18 and Transformers on the PS2 as well as that I've kept the two Wii motions because I need all of that and that little bag that came I've kept hold of all of that so I've got four four uh, memory cards there got Shrek on advance got Lord of Rings Tactics on the PSP I've got this little Kokuto Racer, whatever it is, and Dracula, Crazy Vampire on the Game Boy Color. But this week, the big win here, and I'm so glad we managed to do it, is Game Boy Advance. Kept hold of that. Fantastic. The Nintendo DS original in pink. Kept hold of that with the charger down there. And also kept hold of the, I'll show it you now actually. See, see, so this is the one that had all the stickers and everything on. It's absolutely lovely look at that fantastic condition and i did have a white stylus to put with it as well and um, so i kept hold of that with the box so a fantastic week as far as i'm concerned three free handhelds with a big box of spares and repairs and some other extra bits fantastic fantastic i'm really happy with that this week really really happy to get my hands on these i think that's a that's a that's a good week good week so right let's go and uh, take a look at that roulette shall we Right then, so it is roulette time. So we have this package from CEX. Uh, I know what it is. You probably, if you've been watching for, from the beginning or you caught up, you probably know what this is. This is the fourth attempt, I believe, we've had at getting this game. And um, I won't tell you what it is because some of you are already going to know. Um, so last time we ordered this, um, a couple of things have happened. Last time I ordered it, CEX had five in stock. And I believed, I, I, I knew that none of them had a manual. So all we're after with this, a copy that has a manual and instead of reasonable condition, but manual definitely. Uh, there was five copies of it. I haven't ordered it for a couple months now. Uh, last time I looked before I ordered this, there was 12 copies now. Um, I don't know how many, if any of those have manuals, but I think 12 copies, double the amount. I've got a good chance of getting it now. But not only that. So this is not part of this year's challenge. Um, challenge, it's not really a challenge, it's just how I do things day to day. It, it's not part of this year's allowance, shall we say. This was all the vouchers I had left over from last year before I started doing YouTube, before I started bringing you along with me. Um, £140, this was, it's a bit of a pricey game. It's now gone up to 150 So that extra tenner, I took out my own, my own cash. So 140 of this is voucher that we earned using the system from last year. And a tenner of it is, is just there on my day-to-day. -day. So it hasn't, hasn't impacted in any way what we're doing on the series. Uh, right, so let's get rid of that. Let's, let's turn it round. So all we... All, all, a little bit of weight there's a little bit of weight to it that's good but you don't know how much this uh 
this wrap cost. It looks very well wrapped. Right, so we just want a manual. We've had no manual. We came so close. We came. I think I don't know if it was the last one. I think it was that. Um, no, it wasn't the one before. Manual that had no cover on it. That hurt. That hurt. I mean, I really debated keeping that. Um, but yeah, that 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 was a pill to swallow. Uh, but it is Castlevania New Generation boxed. Um, so let's have a look. So straight away, the condition of it doesn't seem too bad. It has got a bit of weight to it, but I've, I've been tricked before. The case has got some marks on it. Um, that line there looks like... I think, oh, I think we may have had this before. I think I know what's about to happen here. Um, let's be, let's be positive. Let's be positive. The rest of it looks fine. Right, you ready? We just want a manual. <laughs> uh, oh, well, hang on, hang on. I knew it. I, I knew it. We've had the same one again. This is the one we ordered before. This is the one that came with the manual, which had no cover that I was just mentioning. It's back in our possession again. Um, yes, so, case is lovely. The artwork's fine. The, the cartridge is in fantastic condition as well. It's really nice condition, the cartridge is actually really nice, considering the age of it. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, my word. So... This was what I was describing a moment ago. It's got a manual, but there's no cover. There's no there's no front and back case to it. Case cover. Yeah, cover, cover's the word. Um oh, it's starting to do me. It the thing is, I want this game because a lot of nostalgia, it's got a lot of good memories for me. My my concern is that the CX roulette is starting to take that happy memory and just turn it into a memory of me doing this. This this constant battle to get a manual and it, it's starting to it's starting to, you know, devalue the nostalgia of it. But I don't, part of me is tempted to keep it. Part of me is tempted to keep it. The rest of it's fine. The rest of it, there's a bit of a line down there, but I couldn't care less, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. I'm going to think about it again. I decided last time it wasn't good enough, but I'm actually even tempted to see about getting a reprinted front. I don't know. I don't know. At this moment in time, it's going back. But the next episode, I might you might see it sitting behind me. I'm, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I am going to stop waffling. We've been here before. We've done this. We've been here. So, yeah. Yeah, that was anticlimactic. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. Take care of yourself, guys.